we've really been living through a remarkable 20 year honeymoon period of using artemisinin based treatments to deal with uncomplicated malaria treatments. The combination therapies with artemisinin called ACTs are remarkably effective. So we are grateful the world is lucky to have had this family of medicines. The problem is there are growing signs that artemisinin as the backbone for these treatments, which has been such a remarkable curative force, is being undermined by the threat of resistance. So what's the real game changer for us is being assured that we have a non-artemisinin family of medicines coming through the R&D pipeline. Right now, the most advanced ones are in phase two. That means they've already been proven to be safe in humans and we've seen early signs of efficacy. A phase three program is really when you take drugs into tens or thousands of people to confirm that they are gonna be uh, as good as we hope and as safe as we hope. So there's no phase two programs yet, but we expect one to start within the next 18 months with a non-artemisinin combination, but there should be several more in the next five to seven years. So we're keeping up with the war against resistance, but we don't have time to lose. The roadblocks would be if they're not proving as effective as artemisinin combination therapy. So we're quite insistent that we need to have drugs as effective as today's ACTs. So we're fairly optimistic. The other roadblocks would be is if new products come in and they're relatively expensive. The world today is used to very effective, very affordable uh, ACT medicines. And we might have to cope with uh, the, the challenge of new products that are more expensive, at least at launch, to make sure there's mechanisms to make them available.